Welcome to the King and Candy Show. What's going on, show. everybody? <laughs> this fall, fall, fall away, man. <laughs> and this is my main squeeze. Oh, she about to keep squeezing. Oh, <laughs> what's your name, girl? Candy. Candy, what's going on, Candy? <laughs> hey, we're going to have a wonderful show today. we about to get into, and I mean into this lady right here. Her name is Doja Cat. <laughs> far, far, far away, man. Doja Cat, oh, man, she has a, a picture of an inferno, which was covered in paint with 30,000 crystals Whoa. at where she was at some kind of couture. Oh, man. Can you believe that? Can you can, can you believe that? She's a South African girl. <laughs> oh yeah, she must be going back to her roots with all them crystals on. <laughs> I ain't never seen a black woman look so beautiful, so luscious. She looked like a tampon. Oh, oh my God, I used one at that. Hey! <laughs> Don't don't worry, baby. I won't go down there. <laughs> oh my God! So, Candy, can we let's unpack who Doja Cat is first before we get into what she has actually done? She is a major, major, major star out there, and uh, and, and and far, far, far away, man is always to his mentor. He's far, far, far away from the booze. <laughs> yes, 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 far, far away man is. And I, I would like to, like to let everybody know that um, uh, Doja Cat, she far away from the booze too. <laughs> yep, 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 right, Candy? Yeah. She far away, she out there with all them white people in France. <laughs> but yo, Doja Cat half white, she, 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 her, her mama Jewish, and her daddy is South African. Oh, Give really? Up. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far, far away, man. Love a little, little, little mixture in there, you know. <laughs> Shoot, man, I, I didn't like my ancestors the Moors. We used to mix up and down up in there in Italy. <laughs> all on that Mediterranean and made all them, all them Albanians, all with them dark hair. Used to be blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, I got them dark hair now because of some of my ancestors. Sorry, baby, I love y'all. <laughs> my distant cousins, boys, like being, like being in a potluck. What? Yeah, you didn't know I was a more? <laughs> I like more, too. I get more and I like more. <laughs> far, far away, man. Far away from the bush. <laughs> Oh my goodness! What do you think, Candy? What's what, what's going on with this girl? Let's. Does anybody know about Doja Cat? Let's let let's get into her um some of her hits so y'all can understand what she is and who she is. Okay. Let's get into her, Candy. Okay, so it looks like she has one that's called Streets. Yeah, she has she has several. She has over 20, 20 hits. <laughs> Uh, and she started back in uh 2018, boy. I mean, she's been going, she didn't have to run. I don't know, I don't know how hard people don't understand it is to uh place a song, but that placing a song is no is no little thing at all, you know. So, uh, when, when she got over 30 of them, I ain't never, I ain't never seen nothing like this before. She was 33, actually. That's a magic yeah, number. She, she got, has 33 she, hits. 33. And one of her first ones is Candy, if y'all can remember that back in 2008. Mm -hmm. And she had another one called Juan Poo You. <laughs> uh, so she, oh. It sounded like Kagula to me, baby. Mm -hmm. She had another one in 2021, which was I Don't Do Drugs, which is good. Yeah. That's a good one. She had another one called Bottom Bitch. She, she's starting to get a little sketchy yeah, right now. Right. But she had another one called Love Dream. Love Dream was one of hers. And can you tell us some of her recent one? Can they? Can you can you can you get in now? Uh sure. Uh Freaky Deaky 2022. Freaky Deaky. Freaky okay. Deaky. Okay. Sound like my kind of lady right there, oh. boy. <laughs> This Doja Cat getting real, real. I understand what I call a Doja. Remind me of smoking some Doja. 
she doesn't do drugs. Yeah, she don't do no damn drugs, but she, <laughs> you know, the way she got this red thing on up here and make it think different. Uh, yeah, look at that. Lord have mercy. Uh, so uh, she, I like the one that said boss bitch. <laughs> she got one called boss bitch. I, I, yeah. I, I beg to differ because I remember the time that I, 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 I was, I went out on a date with a boss bitch. <laughs> what is that called? It, it didn't go too well, Candy, <laughs> because she was trying to tell me to do shit all the time. And, <laughs> I didn't know what to do, so I so you know I already got the list because of my teeth. My teeth uh, hang over since I was a baby. <laughs> you see, um, but uh, yeah, that boss that boss itch didn't do too good. <laughs> it was a good far, far, far away, man. Uh, so yeah, this is our current hit. So let's get into so this the familiarizer. She's a popular star out there in these streets. This lady right here, her name is Doja Cat. Look at her eyes. I don't know how long it took her to do something like this to herself. I but, mean, she didn't do it to herself. She had a team of makeup artists. Well, Candy, I think. <laughs> I think you might be right, sister. <laughs> but why would somebody do something <laughs> like this, Candy? <laughs> That's what we're trying to get to. Right. That's what we're trying to get to. I, yeah. I don't know what's going on up here on these streets. So let's get to some of the things that she's got into and, and we can go from there. What yeah. about Candy? Sure. See. Sure. Why she got the damn red thing on? Right so here. the reason she has this red thing on is because she attended Chiparelli's latest le runway show in a dramatic head-to-toe look adorned with red body tape and 30,000 Swarovski crystals. So the eye-catching outfit was a custom design by the fashion house's creative director, um, whose name is Daniel Rose Berry. And it was brought to life by makeup artist Pat McGrath, whose team spent almost five hours completing the look. Wow. Five hours. Wow. We're just sitting there getting painted and crystallized. But wow. hey, this image will forever be memorialized and commemorated. So I guess that five hours is worth it. Um, anyway, so the singer's arrival in the Petit Palace in Paris marked a dramatic start to Chaparelli's Couture Spring Summer 2023 show and the opening event of the biannual Hot Couture Week in Paris. That's a big deal. So not only was this the opening event, but she was the first person in the opening event. So she was like the star of the show. So it's a very big deal that she got this. Inspired by the book Dante's Inferno, um, and which is the first book to ever kind of go into the imagination about hell and talk about the nine circles of hell. So this is the artist's rendition of Dante's Inferno. She does look like a beautiful demon. Candy, be what's wrong with wrong these damn people? Why they gotta be focusing on hell so much? Uh, I mean, I mean, damn, ain't, 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 they, ain't, they, ain't they fed up with um, being human? <laughs> Think about human. You sweat, you, you feel pain when people go, you, 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 you gotta poop every day. <laughs> I mean, what's your fascination with with all of this, all of this hell? It seemed like you would have so much trauma just being here. Yeah. God damn, I, I don't. I, I'm having a hard time. I know you can't see it in this picture, but her dress looks oh, gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Oh my lord! It's red, and like the top is really. As you can see here, like satin, but the bottom almost looks like rose petals, like crushed rose petals. And then she has these gorgeous red leather boots on and satin gloves that hit the floor. It's really gorgeous. It's really nice. Do you think we can we can screen this and, and screen that so we can show them a picture of what you're talking about? I mean, yeah. Yeah, we want y'all to be a part of what's going on here as much as we possibly can. Far, far away, man, again, far, far, far away from the food. Yeah. 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 How gorgeous she looks. Oh my goodness. 
And all these people just standing. She had to walk all the way down, and all these people just staring at her. This is amazing. I never seen. Look, even the top like of this. her head, and even her back, like everything. And then it said head to toe crystals, but obviously she has boots on. So, it can, but they still was... got her legs. Look, they still got the little space between her dress and her boots. Can she breathe? <laughs> She looked like she's not from hell, but she does look like she's from Mars somewhere. It's gorgeous, but bizarre. Definitely strange. Man, uh, look, look at this. Look at them. Look at them shoes. Them damn shoes too big for her, Candy. Look at her. You know somebody wearing somebody else's shoes when they heel is right off of the tip. <laughs> right, Candy? I mean, yeah. why did they put them in bad and, and, and got darn it shoes? <laughs> I mean, I'm already, she's a beautiful lady, man. She comes, she's a half African, half Jewish lady. And give it up for all the Jews out there. And all the South Africans. You know, it, it reminds me of a, of a, she is just nothing but a combination of a, of a, of a diamond mine in South Africa. She, she herself, I wonder why she all had all them hits. It's because her, 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 her mama is probably a diamond mine lady back there. She, 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 she connected. She interconnected to the, to the circle of nine in hell. She could not go, she could not go to the Ellenwood booth for Baptist church looking all hellish like she do. She can't do that, Candy. Yeah. But let's get into her background because I really love this lady. She has a beautiful smile. She, Some of her songs are very temptress. I've never heard any another woman speak like her except for this lady, Mickey and Ma. Uh -huh. They got three of them out there, Candy. They got yeah. Mickey and Ma, and uh -huh. they got... um. Uh, Doja Matt, and then they got who else is that little Lil Kim, and and then they got a uh, uh, what the Cardi me and who else they got out there? Can they? They got the Megan the Malian. <laughs> they all seem to be doing this like circular, yeah. uh, pop your booty thing out there, out there for the young girls to be influencing them to do popping booty things. It's really, really sad, actually. I wonder how they got her hair bald like that. Does she have short hair? I don't know. I think there's a lot of pressure being a star, though, you know, Candy. I, I ain't never seen people do things like this, you know. <laughs> and, and, and the, the normality in the insanity is really causing a, a, a delicate, don't you think? A what now? It's called an adelopate. Do you know what this no, is? No, I don't. It's a delopate. A delopate is when you have a conundrum. <laughs> and the conundrum is complexity. Okay. It's complex because the human yeah. experience uh -huh. here on the earth plane yeah. doesn't allow humans to be able to do abnormal things that they want to <laughs> meaning humans are not born with tongue piercings okay. humans have to go to some ghetto place to get that stuff <laughs> humans not are not born with earrings popping from their ears and and bulging from their eyes with gold coming out the women's womb they are not candy so it is a conundrum, a delicate <laughs> situation. Okay, okay. Far, far away, man. Far, far away from the bush. Yeah, okay. Right. Well, you know, she's not the only person. Deja Cat's not the only person in her family to be in the entertainment industry. Um, she most recently earned a couple of Grammys, but her family is in the entertainment industry as well. So this is kind of her, her daddy is too, and then dad, yeah. Yeah. her daddy, her daddy back in South Africa. This man, fifty-eight years old, yeah. still going. Yeah. Lord have mercy. His name is Dumisani Dulamini. 
Do the shaman, do the lean. I love singer, that name, and, brother. Yeah, that's a beautiful name. He's a singer and an actor. You're right. He's 15 years old, and he's a star, born and raised in South Africa before moving to the U.S. to pursue pursue a career in the arts. So he was in the original Broadway production and Tony nominated musical Serafina. He's an accomplished man. Yeah, absolutely. Give it up for the black man. I, I, I'm, I'm with the black people. Go ahead now. Yeah. I, I, he also played in the part in 1992 in the, what is that? The Croc Crocodile. Crocodile Dundee movie, right? Um, just Crocodile. Oh, adaptation. Right. So, so was he a crocodile or was uh, he the Dundee? I, neither. He was just in the movie Crocodile in 1992. It was a film adaptation which starred Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, I think Whoopi Goldberg did some weird movies back then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember her in this other movie where she was playing this lady that was around these other white ladies and she had locks and she was a beautiful little lady then. I, well, I gave it up for Whoopi then. Whoopi can both definitely do some Whoopi. <laughs> Get some Whoopi on her. <laughs> Not now, of course. You, you, you're old as my great grandmama. I love you though. I love you. I remember the time we met that day, that summer day you came over to, to some of like my high school then and you, and, you, and, and you were able to give some good pressure of Whoopi. I, I love you, Whoopi. So, me and Whoopi go, go back like Cracker Jacks. Can you please, Candace, can, let's, let's get into this. Okay, so um, anyway, after he um, accomplished several things here in the States, he decided to go back to South Africa and he's continued acting his acting career in South Africa and he regularly shares uh, his photos of his work on Instagram and most recently was his role in 2021 in the series Reika, where he played a character named Bra Yule. So yeah, he's been busy. He stayed busy. So she comes from entertainment. That's good for her. She's an entertainment lady. I was wondering. It, it, it's just funny just to be able to see how they, how people can um can do you. You know, it's like it's like when I think about Doja Cat, I think about a, a lady that's um that's under the sparrow. Yeah. You know that song, Candy. He's a uh, is on the sparrow, <laughs> and I know he watches <laughs> me. Okay, very nice. Good job. Yeah, what? Oh, far, far away, man. Got some, got some skills out there, boy. Skill to pay the bills. Might want to open up a little, little dozer real quick, you know. <laughs> you, you never know, you know, Candy. <laughs> yeah, that's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, Candy, can can we continue on or? Uh, yeah, are you, absolutely. Are, are you done? Uh, um, so unfortunately, Doja hasn't had a very good relationship with her dad. Oh, that's sad. Oh, damn it. Yeah. And she said that she didn't have any interactions with him and only knew what her mom, Deborah, would tell her. Um, when she spoke with Rolling Stone, she opened up about it and she said it was a little strange to see everyone else with their dad and she didn't have one. That's sad. So she said she hadn't met him in, uh, in that interview and then said she would occasionally get comments from him on Instagram. And uh, she said he's an incredible dancer and a great actor, but I don't know him very well. And then she also said in that interview, I'm down to meet him. So she was open to meeting him and getting to know him better. But her dad read that article and he disputed it in another interview. And he said that the two have communicated via WhatsApp in 2019. So, mm. yeah. Somebody like lying on was, their daddy. Yeah, well, we don't know who's lying. But he seems very proud of his daughter. He had nothing but good things to say about her. But right, so somebody lying on the dead. <laughs> it, it happened. You you know you become the when you leave in a precarious situation and you become a strange to get booted from America, <laughs> and then you and then somehow you end up in South Africa where you came from, 
And then you go back to South Africa doing the diamond mine time, right? And yeah. and, <laughs> and then he ends up, you know, she her daughter right here gets bigger than, you know, she she bigger than shoe strands. <laughs> you know, they, they, and certain people don't get that big, can they? I'm trying to tell you. She yeah. done played, she done placed over 30 songs. <laughs> Yep, thirty three. This is unheard of. This woman already a millionaire. <laughs> it's unheard of, Candy. I don't know what she doing to do all this. I don't know where she went big first, but I tell you this, boy. If she keep going like this, she gonna she gonna be like a black Taylor Swift. <laughs> God damn, I, Yep. What, what I mean, what you think? Uh, I mean. Yeah. Far, far away from the booth. <laughs> hey, her mom, Deborah, is also an artist. Um, her performance skills came from her dad, but her mom is also creative in her own right. Her mom paints and is a visual artist who also works on designing men's clothing. So, yeah. So she paints. She's also said her grandma paints, and they're all... <laughs> Are you okay? Sorry, my teeth kind of um, get oh. trapped. I gotta, gotta. Your teeth get trapped? Yeah, I gotta do this. <laughs> you ain't never been no black man teeth be doing this. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's a, that's a black, that's a black man thing. Don't. Yeah, that's usually what we do when behind closed doors. The way you see, all men got weird things that they do, Candy. <laughs> All, all men got some weird things. Just like y'all women, y'all got some weird shit y'all be doing. I ain't never seen some of the, I have been on this earth many moons. I ain't never seen so much weird shit. They just peekabooing up out of, out of nowhere with you, you women. I, I, I can't bear to understand what's going on in, in the mind of God. You put two two weirdos on the planet and then you got Miss Lady Doja. God is, God has a humor. He does. Oh Lord, how much? Is there any more about Doja Cat that we can break no. down into? No. Mm -mm. Man, I really just want to say, hey, everybody go out there and get Miss Doja Cat's album. She's a real interesting artist. I, I love that she's from South Africa. I love that her mama is Jewish, and I and I love that her daddy is. Um, I wish her daddy was in her life, but unfortunately, you know, it's a lot going on with daddies and daughters, you know. So we're gonna put a prayer out there for this Doja Cat, and I'm gonna put a prayer out there from you for uh, but there's the Baptist Church. <laughs> And we're going to have her in the prayer meeting uh, because she should not be working the seven, the seven seals, the nine seals of hell. Yeah, that's true. She, she needs prayer warriors. Oh. So we're going to put a prayer warrior line up here later. It's going to be a prayer warrior line. <laughs> the way we can just get people out here to pray for Miss Doja Cat. Yeah, I know. And get up off off this off the devil stuff and get on some angel wings. How about that? <laughs> you know, it's a company you keep that's gonna put your ass in some red, 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 red guy with crystals, thirty thousand crystals. It's the company you keep. <laughs> you think it's not, Candy? She she around some real peculiar individuals. Welcome to the music industry. So, I'm, I'm going to pray for the people she around, too. Y'all ain't, ain't going to miss no prayer. <laughs> Y'all ain't missing no prayer, Mr. Doja Cat. I love to love you and the, and the record company that she's with. I'm, I'm going to pray for y'all, too, man, because <laughs> she putting out more records than Michael Jackson when he was, I'll be there in morning. I will be there, oh, yeah. Far, far away, man. Far away from the bush. <laughs> so, man, it was wonderful. Uh, it was wonderful this evening, this afternoon, and this morning to get together with y'all. And thank you. If you end up seeing this, please put a comment down below. And may you please subscribe to our show. 
Uh, King is not here, but this is most definitely the King and Candy sure. show, no doubt. And if you can, please remember to get the knowledge of self. The knowledge of self is very important. King wanted me to send that out there to y'all to get the knowledge of self because it allows you to be able to do so many things on the earth plane. You need to be able to have the knowledge of self to do knowledge, to increase your self-esteem so you can go out and get as much money as you want. But you first got to do it to the knowledge of self. <laughs> so make sure you're doing that. And if you're having any problems, a lot of stuff going on out there in the world, people shooting a lot of people, man. Yeah. It's so sad. It's so all these random acts of violence, this gun violence, people hurting one another, the border going crazy. It was another another more hurtings and killings and, and willings and dealings. And you would think California wouldn't have none of that because they got, you know, they made weed illegal. <laughs> so we're you literally, if you're making weed illegal, you, these, these people, these, these people don't, this shit, I don't go smoke a joint. <laughs> you think I heard somebody go, go smoke a joint? I, you listen, we don't promote smoking here in this show. I'm just letting you know we don't. But I'm just saying, if, if, if people are having these hyper-mental issues, they're going to have to reach out and do something and go get some help, mental help or something like that. Man, you got to call the authorities to see if you can get your life together like Miss Doja Cat. <laughs> Oh, far, far away, man. It's far, far away from the bus. <laughs> I tell you, Candy, this is this has been an eventful morning. It was good to see you up and Adam and and looking perky and swinging with your eyes like you don't hit a yourself. <laughs> I ain't never seen another grown woman with the high eye, left eye. <laughs> Looking like this, like you can't hold up your your pupils. I just woke up. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. It's okay. You still look beautiful, girl. Thanks. I ain't never seen another. But uh, if you can please, just please subscribe to our show. We really appreciate it, man. This is uh King and the Candy Show, and and my name is Far Far Away, man. And you know I'm gonna be far far away from that buzz. Welcome to the King and Candy Show.